Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. So some people are, are asking, what is the legal implication of what Mao Sampa has done? What is the legal implication of, Mao Sampa, of what Mao Sampa has done? And what is this ex parte, you know, ex parte order? What does it mean? So, first things first, um, you must understand that the legal, uh, the, the issue that um, surrounds PF is not a matter that can be resolved um you know uh overnight no no that is going to be a long protracted legal battle the issue surrounding the pf is not uh, an easy one is going to be uh you know dragged or is going to be um uh, what is the what is what is the word they will be stuck in legal battles they will be stuck in legal battles for a long time 2026 will come they will still be in those legal battles it is not a matter that will be resolved here and there yes to be honest with you I mean, what Mao's is, do, is doing is basically you know try, uh, um, trying to cause confusion and doing uh, like 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 the dissolving the waters like dissolving the waters but the issue is that much as it may look like uh, you know it's crazy the issue is that it will take a long time before this matter is actually resolved that is number one and uh, number two it is about this um, what is this uh, expert someone now look what happens is that starting an action in court it can be started uh, uh, starting an action in court can be started in various ways different ways okay they are different ways in which a person can lodge his complaint before the court there are different ways they they are cases that start by originating summons there are cases that start by an ex parte order there are different different uh, ways in which you can uh, commence an action before court now one of the ways that you can start an um, an, um, uh, an action in court is by an ex parte ex parte meaning you feel that um, you you want to stop something from happening you want to stop something from happening so you quickly go to court and ask the court to say please can you stop such and such a person or an organization or whatever it is from doing something so it is an ex parte is whereby you on just you as a party you as a party which means you could be a group you could be an you could be a company you could be an individual you go to court you rush to court and ask the court to stop something that is an ex parte meaning only one party before the court most of the times all the courts not most of the times all the time uh, there is a plaintiff and a respondent okay In, and we're talking about civil matters there is the plaintiff and the complainant so this the plaintiff is a party and the respondent is a party as well okay so the respondent the respondent is a party the 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 um, 
there is, there is a, a, a plentiful who is the one who complains and the respondent is the one who has been dragged to court. That is how it works. Now, the plentiful is a party. The respondent is a party. So, when you go to court, when you go to court, you go as a party. When you go alone, you are commencing a, a case alone. That is ex parte. You are alone. You are alone. One party, ex parte, alone, one party. Now, this happens usually when you feel that, look, you feel that uh, uh, your rights or something is being deprived from you, okay, by another party. So you rush to court alone and you say, can you stop this party from doing whatever it is? That is an ex parte. And when you go there, you prove to court to say, look, right now this person is doing this and that. And if he continues, if the court does not stop him, this, there will be, I will suffer damage or I will suffer loss. So please stop him before I lose so much. I hope uh, you are able to to follow what I'm what I'm what I'm what I'm talking about. For example, right now I am talking on I'm talking here on social media, and then I'm talking about somebody. For example, I'm talking just for, as an example. I'm talking about my wife. I'm saying bad things, you know, bad things. No, my wife. What? What? And my wife sees this video, and she's like. Look at this guy. He's talking about me. He's go uh, if he continues talking, he will mess up my reputation. He will mess up my, 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 my personality. So my wife can rush to court. I'm giving an example. Can rush to court and say, please, please, we are court. Right now, my husband is talking about me. I want you to stop talking, to stop him from talking. Because if he continues talking, he will damage my reputation even more. So the court will say, oh, he's talking. Is it, is it true? Uh, can you prove to us that he's talking? And my wife will be able to bring up a phone and say, to see, you see, here you, here you are. He's talking. At that moment, the court will not say, go and call him. What the court will do, they will sign that order. And she will come quickly and give me that order. The moment she gives me that order, I need to stop talking. That is an ex parte. Where the party just goes before court and asks the court to stop something before they suffer loss, before they suffer more uh, damage. That is an ex parte. So... In this case, when you talk about the when you talk about the, the, the PF issues, what it is now is that uh, Mao Sampa had that 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 conference. He had that conference and he, and had himself elected as the president, and he has started going around calling himself a president. He has even gone to Pakra to change the names of the of the. Um, of the uh, the office bearers, so the other party realized to say, "Hey, what Mao is doing is dangerous. If we don't stop him, we are going to suffer as a party. We are going to suffer as a party, and that is how they rushed to court to stop Mao from conducting himself as a president. It is an ex parte." Mao has not been engaged yet. Mao has not been engaged yet. They only presented to say, look, that it is it is a public, a notorious fact that Mao was had a press had a general conference and he was elected president and so on and so forth. And they are saying, stop him from continuing acting like that. Ex party. That is what an ex party means. Only. Rafael Nakachinda went one party. Now, usually, what happened for the sake of justice? Justice hears both sides. Justice does not just listen to one party and it ends there. No, Takwaba. So, what happens is that first of all, as you approach the court to say, "Can you stop this this damage or whatever it is? Can you stop it?" The moment 
the moment that is done they set a date for interparty they set a return date for interparty what happens is that they will say stop this first but then they will also set another date where the other party can come and explain they, will, they can come and explain so in this case they have given an order to Mao Samba to stop uh, you know uh, acting as a president and whatever whatever to stop that but there is a return date where even Mao's will go and give his side of story and that is when the case will start because now there will be arguments on this side like in this in the example that I gave over my wife I'll be able if the, a return date I'll be able to go with my wife and then we'll be able to explain and i'll be able to explain to say no what i was talking about is this and that and that and that and my wife will also be able to explain so there is always a return date for inter-party uh, hearing so unfortunately what i've seen in this country is that many times when people get this inter-party this ex-party uh, order they act like they have won they act like they have won it is not true it is far from being true it's misleading it's misleading to start running around with an expert order to say yeah Mao's has been stopped from this and that it is wrong it is wrong because there is the whole process that has to start whereby both sides have to come and then they will engage in a legal battle and that legal battle takes a lot of time until such a time when now the court will realize to say we will make a judgment to say yes you should stop talking about this or yes you should you should stop uh, acting as president you are not president you are not president as it is what Nakachinda obtained is simply to stop Mao from acting as president and whatever whatever but an interparty will come in and the case will start and this will take a lot of time before finally a judgment is made as to whether that general conference was legal or not legal or whether Mao is a fake president or a real president it will take a lot of time now i've only spoken about this ex parte from the from the pf there is another uh, uh, action that was started in court by Mao. Remember, Mao was suspended. When Mao was suspended by the the, the given wind uh, faction, <laughs> you know, Mao said no. Given wind and, and these others, they don't have powers to suspend me. They don't have powers to suspend me. They are illegal. Mao went to court for that. And he, he also got an order to stop a uh, given Luwinda, uh, Chilangwa, and uh, I think these 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 two they, that they should they should not masquerade as leaders of of PF. So there is already Mao's when Mao was doing that. There is also an order which stopped. The given women, those who are calling themselves to be leaders, there is an action which is against them to say they are not, they are not legal leaders. Even Nakachinda, the appointment of Nakachinda is also deemed as illegal because given Luwinda, the one who is on top, has been deemed illegal, has been dragged to court to say is not legal, is not legal. And this appointment is coming from the appointment of Nakachinda. It's coming from Given Luwinda. And this is where Mao is saying, even Nakachinda, you are not legal. You are not legal. So these, these are the two issues. Mao started first. He got an order. And when he got an order, unfortunately, the Given and the others, they kept on you know operating as leaders of pf and this prompted Mao to go for um uh, a contempt you know because there is an order and they were acting as leaders so Mao filed for a contempt to say these people are not obeying your orders they are not obeying your orders can you punish them for not obeying your orders so there is also that part so at the end of the day when you look at it when you look at it at the end of the day
given Lubinda is being questioned, given Lubinda and the others are being questioned in terms of their legitimacy. Mao is saying, no, they are not legal. Meanwhile, Mao also has done this, and these people who are saying, no, we are legal, they, are, they have also said, now you are also not legal. So basically, we have two sides fighting for legitimacy. Given Luvinda and the group are fighting for legitimacy. Uh, Mao Sampa on, on his side and the, the people that he, he elected, they are also fighting for legitimacy. And this is where some of you who have been following me, this is where I have come in to blame the Edgar Chagwalungu. Because these people, truly, people did not vote for Given Luvinda as president. They didn't vote for him as president. They voted for Edgar Lungu. At a conference, that is not disputed. Mao Sampa was voted as president, but his conference is disputed. The only legal person, the only legal person who, he can, who is undisputed to be the leader of BF is Edgar Chagwalungu. And this is why I fight with my Edgar Chagwalungu. This is why I'm frustrated. This is why I'm upset with my Edgar Chagwalungu. Because he's the only legitimate leader of PF and yet he's sitting quiet. He's sitting quiet, he's not doing anything. You can say, no, he doesn't want to play politics, but that part, PF, made him president. Together, Edgar Lungu can boast of being, you know, former president because of PF. So at least for whatever he got out of pf for the things that he for the benefits he drew out of pf at least he would have stepped forward to sort out this mess but we given by, by, by edgar Lungu, he's actually sitting back i have got no issue with we given Lubinda for that matter let me say this but given Lubinda is trying his best and i know that given Lubinda deep down his heart he knows that he, Edgar Chagwalungu would have done right to come to step forward. He knows that he's carrying the burden that Edgar Chagwalungu is supposed to be carrying. He knows. He knows. Mm. Thank you. So uh, for me, I have no issue with really, I have no issue with given the window. I have no issue. All I have appraises appreciation to given Luwinda. At least given Luwinda has is standing in front. Is 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 bearing the courage that Edgar Chagwalungu is failing to have. Some people get upset. Why do you say uh, Edgar Lungu is is not courageous and whatever whatever? Really, I mean that is cowardice. And given the window, in spite of not having been elected, he is stepping forward and taking the pressure. And I can assure you, given the window, is not only taking the pressure of Mao Sam, but given the window, he's taking so much other pressure. Even some of the court cases that given the window is facing are now in jeopardy due to the position that he's taking in PF, a position that Edgar Lungu should be the one taking. Given Luwinda is standing in the position of given of, of, of Edgar Chagwalungu. And for that, I salute given. Me, I salute given. But I know deep down in his heart, he knows that that man at Ibex would, should, would have done better to be courageous and come out. But he's not doing it. So anyway, I'm about to go for a meeting. I just wanted to make this clarification for now. I'm not talking at 20 hours because um, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll be out. I just wanted to, to bring out this. And I wanted to bring this out on um, this new platform, you know, trying out everything so that uh, uh, we see. Because sometimes you see Facebook also does whatever it is. So that's why I've decided to do, to do this live on uh, TikTok. But I will download it and throw it. Uh, on Facebook as well, but I just wanted to make you to make this clear and I want to emphasize that When you have what they call the ex party, it is not the end in itself That order is not the end. It is just the beginning. So That process has just started 
the PF as it is, they will remain without a leader for a long time unless my given, unless my Edgar Chagalungu comes forward. Because given has been disputed as not a legitimate leader by Maos. Then Maos on the other side, these guys have also said he's not a legitimate leader. And as such, these people cannot make certain uh, uh, certain pronouncements. For example, there was Maus where Maus is saying that let's remove uh, Brian Mundubile as a leader of opposition, that we have removed him as a leader of opposition. That act, that letter cannot be acted upon by, by the speaker. She can never act upon that letter to remove Brian Mundubile as leader of opposition because I mean, uh, Maus is disputed. He's in court. And that is not a legitimate leader. But uh, on the other side, even given himself, he's also uh, challenged. That is not a legitimate leader. So uh, many of these things cannot be, cannot happen. Don't pay attention to these things to say Mao has fired this one, Mao has fired the, the, the Makebi Zulus, Mao, uh, it, it, it has no effect. It has no effect. Even changing names at PAKRA, in all objectivity, even changing names at PAKRA cannot happen because Mao is disputed. Mao is disputed. So even that is under, a, a, will be subject to court, um, you know, judgment. Unfortunately, even on the other side, even Avena given, Navena, they, they are also in the same, same situation. The only person that can come in and correct this nonsense is Edgar Chagwalungu. And unfortunately, Edgar Chagwalungu is a coward. Edgar Chagwalungu doesn't care. He doesn't appreciate that Sata left him this power. Sata made him president. PF made him president. He benefited from this and he just let him go. As long as him is receiving his benefits. That is selfishness of the worst kind. It's selfishness of the West kind. The PF made Valungu president. The PF has made by Ed Galungu to be receiving those uh, benefits. But Ed Galungu didn't fight to become president. It is because Sata fought for it and he gave him on a silver platter and yet he's sitting quiet. That is not acceptable to me. Anyway, Ninda and Dakale, I'm saying let me go. I'm going for a meeting. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondo. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.